the question is, will I leave homesteading behind? Going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like to pass life. You like to drive, get down dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel it calling me. You got the best of me. You got me losing sleep. I'm sitting at the truck stop waiting on my husband he's getting his truck service right over here at the DOT we're at the loves in North Carolina and today is the day after we took my vehicle to our son down on the coast so you're gonna see that video coming up in this video but the question I have is because I've been thinking about this for a while the question is Will I leave homesteading behind? Will I cut back on what I'm doing around the homestead once my youngest child goes away to college, either in the fall or in the winter? I'm really considering doing van life. If I don't go on the road with my husband, that is what I am considering. Or if my husband gets another vehicle, well, truck, because that's him right there, will I try to go on the road with him to travel? Those are the questions that I have. So I probably won't have the answer by the end of this video, but stay tuned. This is a, you know, get out the house type of video, hang out with me type video. Matter of fact, it's kind of a solo van life video minus i'm not sleeping outside in my car right this minute so y'all stay tuned hit the like button share it out leave comments down below oh and if you're new to the channel welcome in and if you have not subscribed we would love for you to hit that subscribe button become a part of our youtube family and let's get into the video usually i don't post to get 
get ready. Now we're back on the road, headed towards Conway, and we have probably about two hours left now, or maybe an hour and 50 minutes, somewhere around there. But I'm going to show you some of the scenery, and yeah, I will be back in a little bit, so don't forget if you are new here, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. And definitely everyone, if you can hit the like, that helps the channel. So we just passed a sign that says 63 miles to Myrtle Beach. But Conway comes right before Myrtle Beach. It's about 20 minutes from it. So we don't have that long left. However, your girl is tired. And the sun is messing with my eyes. I have to throw my shades on. So I'm um, following my husband. He's in front of me.
that's not going to sway me one way or the other, but it's good to get ideas from people. Um, something about going to these little towns, speed limit change like that, so you like have to be mindful of the speed limit changing. Dollar Tree right here together and then they got a Dollar General sitting right next to it. Look at that. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind.
get up here to his school and I'm waiting on him to come out. Look at my baby. That my big baby. That's my big baby. Oh, ground right here. Oh, Missy. You want to pick it up? See, I found you. <laughs> what? I found you. What do you mean you found me? <laughs> he found us. So we found you. So we should probably turn in back there. We turned right here on that street. I, I know. They doing some graduation stuff out here. Next year. Next year. I, nobody called you over here to lick no hands. Go on, potty. I'm asking you, bro. Huh? Where are you not? You know where you going? I don't know where you're going. I don't know where I'm going. Well, shit, you better figure it out. Not So we're about to go and get something to eat. I'm following my husband. My, <coughs> excuse me, my son is driving. Um, after that, I went back and forth about who gonna drive. They do that every time they see each other. Um, so now we are about to leave and get something to eat because we hungry. We hungry. up at the Walmart. waiting for a table this bonfire restaurant actually lets you have your dog and we have Gracie right there with my husband and my daughter they're cleaning the table out here in the picnic area so you can eat with your dog you don't have to leave your dog how peaceful how peaceful So people literally just pull up and go in and eat and leave <laughs> on their boats. That's neat. Y'all, I just got caught up in the moment. <laughs> I'm back, but I forgot to show y'all what I had at that restaurant. 
I had like some fried catfish. I tried fried oysters. I've never eaten oysters before. Uh, you know, <laughs> neither here nor there. I don't know if I'll have those again, but they weren't bad. And then I had some shrimp. So I was trying to get my fried out because start next week, all the frieds get cut. And your girl is going to do better on her diet. So now I'm with my son after he convinced his dad to let him spend some time with me alone. Uh, it was so funny. He's like, y'all plotting? What y'all planning? I'm like, I had no idea. Obviously, he misses mama and he want to spend just a little bit of time with me by myself. So he went upstairs to his apartment here in... I don't know where we about to go, but we're going to meet back up with my husband and my daughter and head to the Tanger Mall, and then we leaving, and I'm leaving my car, leaving my baby with my, my son, my big baby, so yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. I try to get him to come on and say hey, but he, he the camera turned on and he, his mouth goes closed, so we'll see. Look at this. Oh, we would, especially if we did like a, you know, traveling type thing. Gracie was eating some of my sweet potato fries from the restaurant. I'm watching my son over there. I'm about to leave in my vehicle. And I'm like, please be kind to my car. Because he got a lead foot. My husband said he'd get it from me. But I said, no, he don't. Must never part. Y'all yeah, remember that from Color Purple? I would 
would be driving in, etc. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that before really ending the video this time I am. Um, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and whatever I do on the channel, I hope you continue to support it. Um, even if I did do the van life or when I do do the van life, um, I still intend to stockpile my food. I do. I just believe that that is